this video we're going to look at how you can present a score in an iBooks uh, author document and uh, have a student listen to a recording of that score and follow the score on at once. This is probably uh, one of the most useful things that you can do in iBooks author. There are a number of ways of getting around it and they've all been quite tricky in the past. Uh, I thank the student who showed me uh, how to do this. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, start off by making a gallery and you do that by clicking on the widgets button at the top which we haven't looked at in any of the earlier videos. Click on widget and that adds a gallery for me. So I, I'll just put a simple instruction here like um, uh, listen to the score, uh, listen to the recording and follow the score. There we go. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is, because this page is going to be entirely given up to this, obviously if I don't use all of the page it might be quite hard to read the score, especially if the score's got uh, a lot of instruments in it. Um, I, if you don't like this sort of funny background, this I'm only getting this because of the template that I chose. And of course, again, going over to the inspector over here, we can get rid of that uh, background, just make it look a little bit more plain. And so what I need now is I need my recording and my score. So there are a number of different ways that you, that you can uh, get your score, but note that these have to be image files. So if you've got a PDF of a score, which of course you've got copyright permission to use, you're actually going to need to uh, save those individual pages out as some kind of image file. Uh, what I'm going to use instead is one of my own scores, because of course I've got absolute right to use my own music in my iBook. And you can see this is a piece that I wrote um, I think over a decade ago now um, for a, f a funny jazz ensemble. The first thing you'll notice is that the pages are currently in portrait orientation. That means that they're standing this way up, whereas if I go into um, iBooks author, you'll see that this is landscape, so the wider part of the page is at the bottom. Now iBooks author will uh, handle um, both portrait and landscape um, layout but you'll see that it looks uh, quite different and in fact later on I'm going to show you how to change it so that it, your iBook is only using landscape so you can use the more sort of glitzy beautiful layout and, and force the, um, the user to follow that if you so wish. So I'm going to deal with this as the best way to do this and um, what I'm going to do is in Sibelius I'm going to go to the layout tab um, if you've got another uh, notation program uh, such as Finale, you'll find that it can do similar things and just do them in different ways. I've changed that to Landscape now and you can see that looks beautiful. And so the next thing I'm going to do is click on my File uh, tab and I'm going to go to Export. Uh, again, uh, most of the good notation programs can do this. I'm clicking on Graphic and I'm going to choose PNG and because I don't know whether it's going to be a um, one of the latest high res iPads or not. I'm just going to go for the standard three, uh, 300 dots per inch here in the setting. Don't change it to monochrome for some reason that gives you not as nice a, um, a uh, an image. And you can see under pages it's set to all which means it's going to export all of those pages out. Now normally I don't worry about uh, the folder that these things are going to go into but in this case actually that really matters because I need to be able to access these straight away. So I'm just going to go to the desktop, I'm going to create a new folder there called Ropaloon Pages and click create and choose that and then finally I'm going to just um, click export and you'll see that it only takes a few seconds to export that out. So once that's done I can go back into my iBooks author file and remember that I've already gone to widgets and added this gallery widget so that's waiting for me to add images as we speak and now I'm going to open the folder which has got all of my images on and I'm simply going to drag those in to my widget and just give it a second or give it several seconds and you'll see there now that um, it's, I've got the first page of the score uh, I talked about image editing in an earlier um, video, in the first video, or the video zero. So if you find that it's not quite fitting or you could, it could fit better, then just click Edit Mask and you can then resize the image inside that or move it around inside the, uh, the gallery. Um, obviously, if the width is slightly different 
of your of your image to the gallery window it's going to be hard to get it exactly right but you do have the option of course to go back into Sibelius and export with a slightly different file size but I won't worry about that for now now in your iPad you will uh, just do all of the exciting swish 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 between pages left and right but here in the gallery we're just going to press the right arrow you can see again here I need to do some resizing of my image which I won't worry about now but you can see it's quite simple and we're not swiping I'm just tapping the left and right buttons to go between the buttons of the page uh, there are a few um, different options here under interaction you can see that I've got um, all of the uh, different images so if, if for some reason the pages got a little bit confused uh, then I can simply grab them here and change the order that they come in um, I can also have the option to show a bunch of thumbnails which is going to be probably pretty unuseful in this case unless uh, unless well I can't think of any reason but uh, <laughs> it could I don't think it'd be very helpful here but it might be in another reason um, and um, and so now the um, student can flick through the pages of that score so of course the last thing to do is for them to listen to the recording while they're following the score and, and we've already done this once so I'll, I'll just drag my mp3 in uh, iBooks author will optimize the audio file because it's an mp3 and not an m4a and I can choose how I want that to look so I would suggest that probably the most useful option now is the scrubber bar uh, and it probably doesn't need any instructions if I go to layout and I can probably turn off all this stuff and simply make it nice and long um, I can put that at the top or the bottom of the page this needs a little bit of reorganization my page but now I could, my student would be able to go through and find approximately where they are and and uh, there you go um, and listen and follow at the same time the other option that's possibly useful is the little button if, if it's not a particularly long score um, or, or recording and they just want to play um, play through it once the whole way through then including the button is uh, is probably fairly useful but I think the scrubber bar is probably the best way to do it so that they can move through the score by swiping and move through the recording um, by dragging the little slider so um, kudos to Alec for working out the best way of uh, doing score reading uh, while listening to a recording in iBooks author and um, I hope that you enjoy that uh, once you get into the iBook it, it does look really really great so go